My name is Thomas Kuhn, Chairman of the Department in Frankfurt University uh, there, located in the center of Germany. And we're doing uh, all kinds of uh, basically treatments in ophthalmology with a department of almost 10,000 interventions per year. Okay, if a patient potentially is a candidate for multifocal technology, which means that he needs to have, um, let's say, media in the eye which are perfect. Good macular function, good endothelium, uh, no irregularities in the cornea, then a patient will really benefit from a panoptics multifocal technology. In comparison to bifocal technology, this technology gives a better range of vision over the whole spectrum, meaning patient can see very well at distance, but also has um, vision at near, approximately at 40 centimeters, depending on patient's length, arms and everything, 40 centimeters. But then more important, or important as well, intermediate vision in the range of 50, 60 to 80 centimeters. Because this trifocal technology allows the patient to have three foci used, and therefore, if you look at defocus curves, which is something where we can transform the patient's outcome into a scientific data, then you can see that this goes very close to the natural defocus curve we have. We have still a fixed system which tries to overcome presbyopia, or let's say it tries to overcome vision at all distances with an optical trick, which is multifocality. Um, but this works much better, in my opinion, than with bifocal technology because the patient doesn't have that intermediate dip, and this intermediate dip was disturbing to many patients. Well, on contrast sensitivity, um, if you work, if you really look at the bench um, and you look at the um, measurements in the clinic, you find a little decrease in comparison to a real monofocal lens. But in my opinion, the contrast sensitivity is, although it's a little bit reduced, not markable by the patient. The patient doesn't talk about that. The key element with, with the trifocal technology is basically the, the full range of vision, or the fuller range of vision. Bifocality is already good. It's better than monofocality because the patient can see at near and people like it. But it was always in the last 10 years this problem. Um, which was changed by the type of bifocal IOLs we had from a 4 diopter plus to a 3 diopter plus that changed a little bit the expectation or let's say the intermediate uh, um, performance of patients. But because in the trifocal IOLs we don't have that anymore, the patients are just more satisfied. Well, that, that attaches to the quality of light, of course. If the patient only can see at near and at distance, he needs for computer always glasses. He has to carry it around. Now with trifocality, he doesn't need that. He needs it maybe occasionally when he has dark light and wants to read, he maybe needs a plus one glass. But this is so rare that most of my patients who have these lens talk, don't talk about glasses anymore. I'm not an optical scientist uh, in this way. I'm a clinical scientist and uh, I'm, I'm trying to understand optics and I don't know if there is still limitations in this regard, but I believe that we have reached a very final stage of this technology um, from bifocal to trifocal, quadrifocal with trickies uh, in this regard. So I don't know, but I think that uh, there might be another advantage in the future, but I think we're pretty far in this technology already. When you use this technology, um, this fine technology, I exclusively use it with femtosecond laser technology because I think if you work in the area of astigmatism, astigmatism reduction and astigmatism control, uh, placement of uh, eye wells in the right uh, position, long-term stability, I think we have to work on this and therefore I like to uh, use control of astigmatism, uh, intraoperative measurements of astigmatism position, uh, cycle rotation trackers, uh, capsulotomies, which give me always the same results. It's just a pleasure to work with this technology because if you have this really fine optic system there, you want it 100% correct every time. And therefore, I think this technology benefits very much from the next technology, which is the surgical technology. 
multifocal technologies is one technology, it's the IOL which is given to us. But then what we produce in the eye is another technology. And we have now um, actually uh, opportunities to fine tune this and therefore I think that we should use this advanced surgical techniques. In comparison to a monofocal lens, I think that patients still have more halos. That is for sure. You can you would see that on the optical bench and we see it in the patients. However, in most of my patients with the trifocal lens technologies, I see now that they, if they complain about this, they complain about this in the beginning, but then after a while, meaning one month, three months, even six months, patient's brain have suppressed that, and only if I ask them later, then patients um, actually talk about this. There's another aspect, and the aspect is if I ask my patient at 12 months, do you want me to explant that lens because you still have slight halos, nobody ever had said, yes, I'm going to do that. They like that technology in terms of having reading ability, computer ability and distance that they accept this slight halo. And this is much lower than we have in the advance, in the beginning of multifocal technology. So I think we have reached a, a stage where in a way we still have the downsides, we have to talk about it, but it's acceptable to most of the patients. I would say 99%.